So what we're going to do today, I, I will show you a calibration program that is not normally available to the hams. Uh, it is only for factory adjustments. Uh, but I will show you how to do the high power adjustment only. And uh, you can try it on your own. And I caution you not to adjust anything else in the uh, calibration program, even though we're going to have to go through at least uh, half a dozen steps before we get to the part that I'm going to show you how to adjust. Here's the front panel of the uh, HF Auto. This is a, a new unit uh, uh, calibrated this morning and uh, ready to be shipped to uh, a customer. And uh, we'd like to explain in great detail, I'm actually going to do this twice for you, uh, we're going to calibrate the high power setting which is not normally done. It's been brought to my attention that uh, the high power value is somewhat low uh, in some instances and uh, I'm going to show you how you may, be a, may adjust this without having to return the unit uh, back to the factory. So we go and push the mode button and we're going to go to manual and uh, I'm going to do this as carefully as I can. You put one finger on the red button to the right and the other finger on the arrow going towards the left. Push and hold and you see it comes up calibrate uh, calibrate mode. This is not again I remind you this is not available to the customers this is only for factory purposes. So what we're going to do is go through all the different menus until we get to the power setting. So what, what, I, what I will do is push the mode button until we get, uh, get to that point. There's C min, calibrate, C max, L min, L max. And uh, we, we calibrate the unit on three frequencies, 1.8 megahertz, 52 megahertz, 14.2 megahertz, and here's the power setting. So at the moment this is the low power setting. You can see, uh, you may not be able to see on my Array Solutions uh, monitor, it's 60 watts and it shows 60 watts in the uh, low power position as well. So what we want to do is we want to run 500 watts and I'll turn the amplifier on and and we'll adjust this for 500 watts as closely as I can get it. Okay, there's 500 watts, 502. And you can see it's reading 484, 475 is jumping around a little bit but it's around 484. So in order to make this look like the Array Solutions reading which is 500, you turn the knob to the left until it reads 502. 502. And wait for a couple of minutes. It'll jump around a little bit. 502. So let it go. Push the mode button again which means it'll, it'll uh, be uh, put into memory. Go past SWR, calibrate. As Soon as you go back into auto mode, all the changes that we made, which we only made one for the power setting, will be memorized. Okay, so now I'll apply 500 watts. Let's see, we'll uh, readjust this. There's 502 watts and there's 502 watts. So let me do let me do this one more time. You turn you turn on your HF auto, it reads the 1.29 and it comes into auto mode. You push the mode button once and it goes into manual mode and you uh, push the right hand red button and the left hand red button simultaneously and hold until it goes into the calibrate mode and then push the mode button until you get uh, into the, uh, the output power adjustment. 
you have to go through the three frequencies and and soon as you as soon as you go to the next part it says power equals zero and that says power calibrate that's the only menu we are interested in modifying so here we go again 500 my amplifier drifts a little bit there's uh, there's 502 there's 502 and you can modify it to any value that you want and the increment that we're looking for is 502 that's the closest it's kind of tricky because it's drifting a little bit There, 502. That's what you want, 502. So when you're finished, you push the mode button again, and it'll read SWR, but we're not going to show you how to do SWR because you need a very accurate uh, dummy load. Uh, Palstar uses a, uh, a bird uh, uh, oil-filled uh, dummy load for this purpose. So it says calibrate, and then you're back into auto, so as soon as you do that, it goes. Everything goes into memory. All the changes that you made. So to test it again, we read 502. It'll, it should read 502 again. 507, 502. There you go. So that's the end of the uh, the measurement uh, modification for the HF Auto. Thank you very much for watching this video presentation number two. Uh, regarding the HF Auto. Uh, this is a rather simple uh, fix for some of the customers that have complained about uh, the power control not being uh, terribly accurate at 500 watts. And if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, either call us or uh, email me, paul at palstar.com. And uh, we are grateful for customer support. We are now approaching a build of 1,400 units for this product. Thank you again.